we are. We're a community of global partners. We share a common commitment, and that commitment is to help children in any country, any place in the world, have the benefits of a nutritionally adequate school lunch or school feeding. And we know, as you all know abundantly, that food to school makes a difference in the life of the child. It helps them come to school, stay in school, and learn while they're there. When we want to do something and we believe everything is possible, we have here, despite the problems that we are facing in the world, we could organize a forum here out of Johannesburg uh, with the presence of 250 people, almost 40 countries are present here. We had 10 ministers of state and several deputy ministers. So it's really uh, amazing to have everybody and everybody came here to discuss how to save our children. So we have the obligation to support these countries. We have the obligation to work together with them for try to support them to achieve the objectives, to all of them to construct national school meals programs for their kids, for their uh, 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 population. The world has made immense progress in combating hunger over the last decade. We reduced by 100 million the number of people without food. But the road is still long. One in every nine people on the planet do not know if they will have food to eat when they wake up every day. The situation is even more serious when we are faced with the challenge of addressing hunger and child malnutrition. Worldwide, 66 million children go to school hungry every day. But dozens of developing nations are engaged and united to face this problem. And that begins uh, with household access uh, to uh, to resources, uh, to food, uh, to jobs, to land, uh, to income, to education. And when those aren't present, um, it's very common uh, for those households uh, to develop food insecurity. And from there, uh, for those households then uh, to experience inadequate uh, nutrition, malnutrition. And the immediate consequences of malnutrition <laughs> whether it's at two years uh, or seven years, are increased risk of infection, uh, increased risk of poor learning, uh, and other factors that impact on, on the child's ultimate success in life. What is food insecurity? Well, um, it's the lack uh, of availability, access, uh, or use of food, or the uncertainty that you'll be able to acquire food uh, in a socially acceptable uh, and legal way. Since 1997, several countries meet every year to exchange experiences and present successful models in combating hunger and child malnutrition. It's the Global Child Nutrition Forum, organized by the Global Child Nutrition Foundation in partnership with the Center of Excellence Against Hunger of the World Food Program. The aim of the forum is to support developing nations interested in starting or improving school food programs related to family farming. My motivation to come to this forum is that school nutrition and learner well-being, their health, is one of the key focal areas that we have. So we do believe that if you, we have to successfully educate our kids, we have to also make sure that they're around there, they're healthy, they eat well. And for me also the most important thing was to also learn from other countries how they do it so that we can improve our own systems because it is for us a very important program. We've seen just dramatic results from it, so it's got lots of benefits. We work, for instance, with Tiger Brands, the way we're assessing the progress that, for instance, on the grade ones, when kids come home, we measure them and take all the indicators on health, put them on the program and monitor the progress that they even make physically and mentally. And we know, for instance, in your poor rural communities, it, it has helped us with school attendance, it has helped us with concentration levels of kids. So it is a very, it's a very beneficial, it's not a luxury, it's a very beneficial program. The 16th edition of the forum gathered representatives from 46 countries in South Africa, 
the 250 participants were able to learn of best practices that are achieving significant results, as in the case of Brazil, who has left the world hunger map. Brazil reduziu de forma muito expressiva a fome. Assim, nós brasileiros estamos comemorando a superação deste problema histórico. Entre os contribuintes para esta superação estão as políticas públicas, tais como a estratégia Fome Zero, o programa Bolsa Família e o programa de aquisição de alimentos da agricultura familiar. When I was working for the Ministry of Education in Brazil, the government launched the Zero Hunger Strategy. The launch of the Zero Hunger Strategy in 2003 involved a huge government will and required many government agencies and institutions. The Zero Hunger Strategy's achievements placed in Brazil inspired the United Nations and several countries under the Zero Hunger Challenge. Today, food access, distribution, production and safety are a very pressing issue for all nations. A strong action against hunger and poverty is needed. It's time to go beyond the theory and move to action. Brazil is showing that it's possible to do and to create a national school feeding program a sustainable, linked to the production from the smallholder farmers and to maintain the kids in the school with healthy food. So it's possible to do and Brazil is now supporting other countries to establish their own national school feeding program. O Programa Nacional de Alimentação Escolar Brasileiro contribuiu, inclusive, para ser um dos indicadores para alcançar uh, o mapa da fome, saindo do mapa da fome. A FAO define 5% como um teto é, para colocar os países fora do mapa. O Brasil chegou a 1,7%. The Forum believes that providing healthy growth for children with the consideration for them to receive quality education, quality is the main key to the development of nations. During the five-day event, participants could discuss new ideas to apply in their countries, always bearing in mind that local agriculture is where the food security issues of our communities will be solved. What is the bridge that we need to build this week? Could we possibly be the construction crew? Forty countries coming together in South Africa to start putting together the pieces that will help us in the future have a nutrition-based school feeding program. So we're going to talk about bridge building, about the role we each have in doing that, each country in its own way, but in the end, achieving the goal of a nutrition-based school feeding program. The challenge of each translates into the commitment of all. After much dialogue, each participant took home new ideas, new experiences, and innovative solutions to improve school meals in their country but each of them took something much more valuable in their luggage. The strengthening of the network that strives to ensure that every child in the world can study while well-fed. <laughs>